I'd like to, um, Luca, welcome you in the studio. Thank and you very much. Again, thank you so much for your presentation. Great honor. Uh, was, was very logical, was biologically based, and was very innovative. And congratulations for the innovation. Thank you very much. Thank you, really. So um, let's uh, talk a little bit about you. Yeah. So you, um, you're from Italy. You were trained in Italy. And then tell us a little bit about how your education progressed. Yeah. I, I graduated in Padua in, in 2001. So I consider my st myself still, still young. I mean, we are both very young. We have a lot of <laughs> stuff wish. to do. I yeah, yeah, sure. We sure. We were talking yesterday, and I think it's... There's still a lot of things to do. And then I, I had a period program, two years, and then I went to join Fuad Curie Clinic, and I spent there four years. There was really tough years, hard work, amazing in terms of, of learning and, and experience. And then I was back in 2008 in Italy, and I started working and tried to to replicate what I have seen uh, in the Curie Clinic, it also in terms of education. And I have to say that I was a little bit frustrated at the beginning because there was a lot of interest related to the, around the technique, around the approach, but there was a psychological barrier for the clinician to go through the surgery. And, and that was really, I, I, I realized this slowly, but then, as I was telling also during the lecture, for me it happened something during a course with a life surgery that had this nerve embedded into the block due to the fracture that were ran lingually. And that for me was, was like uh, the line said, now this to, cannot work something. in that, that cannot be teached. I mean, I was in the Curie's clinic four years. So it's like to be born in Cirque du Soleil. You, you can do amazing thing, but because you have seen every day with someone behind you teaching and uh, supporting you. And so we changed completely with a good friend of mine that was already a fanatic of digital dentistry, which his name is Andrea Fincato, and we are holding together the training center. And we develop a digital approach, much easier, less stress during the surgery, you can control everything. You can lay and back more. And yeah, I mean, and, and you have control of what you are doing every time, any steps of the surgery is being decided. this is a very, pre very precise surgery. I mean, you have to take this block perfectly precisely. Yeah. Then the, the width, the length, and you have to section it. So uh, otherwise it doesn't work if you take a little bit. As, as you said, if it's you, shorter, then... If it's shorter, you have to change into another technique. But that is also the worst things that can happen during the surgery. That you realize that you plan something and then during the surgery you have to change and maybe the flap is not anymore and done in the correct way. Maybe you, you, even you are not expecting to do that. And this, it's based on the experience how you can manage this stress. But for the majority of the people it could so be you're a big stress. Your, you're, you're adapting to your everyday surgery, what you've experienced in your life. Yeah. yeah. Now, if we're, for younger clinicians, if somebody graduated and, and, and motivated and interested, as, as you were, what would you recommend today to, to start you know, an education? An education. I mean, I, I have to say that many people are coming to my training center has been already by you. And I think yes. they, get, they got really a complete overview of, of, of what can be done. So from, from small GBR, from the collagen membrane to the PTFE and to the Curie approach. I think that nowadays, for a modern surgeon, he must manage different techniques. It's, it's a sort of, of chances for him and for the patient to select an opportunity more, to select do you think it's an enough, approach. Do you think it's enough to learn in courses and not like them? Because I was trained in a program originally, several programs. And, and you also were trained. So what do you see as a difference? Do you think it's, it's possible to just take courses and then practice in your private practice or, or you must go to a program? I think that the, uh, the program would be best, but we don't have so many programs exactly. that, that are delivering such knowledges and such experience. So I think the best way is to start with the right basis. 
because in the majority of the case, I don't know if you have experienced this, but we have to fight with some background of the, of the, of the participant that are like wrong steps and you have to reset everything and then start with the, with the right concept. Isn't that true that sometimes it's much better to start with a clean, clean paper? It is, it is, I agree, I agree. I mean, if you have a young dentist that... Does everything that you tell? Yeah, I mean, following, starting the correct way since the beginning, his life is much easier yeah. than, no, than I, an I, experience I have the same one. experience. I have a couple of doctors who, ex some, some experience, some, like novice, but you know when when they come and they listen to every step and everything, and they get very successful. I think from even from scratch. Yeah. Like I had one uh, doctor, for example, who came uh, once, and his father sent two weeks after graduation. Yeah. I was like, okay, and I just saw him, and it was three, like three years ago, and 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 he goes to courses since then. So not, not only with us, but you know, like maybe with you and maybe uh, you know, Giovanni and Mark mm, and Otto. Sure. And um, he says now, three years later, 50-year-old dentist sending him patients, <laughs> which I think is great. So, so I think, yes, I, I also think that, yeah, program is very good, but sometimes, you know, there's not so many programs. Maybe not all the programs will deliver what you want to want to learn, so I think also the courses. Yeah. And your courses are in Padova, right? Correct. My courses are in Padova, yeah. So you have a center there, which is dedicated to We have a training center, yeah. We have a training center where we can do the, the live surgeries in some cases. We do hands-on every time, both on hard tissue and soft tissue. And we have intensive courses because uh, the travel, I think right? that yeah, the, that, that is the point. We have people traveling also from, from this year, from Australia and New Zealand. I mean, it's yeah. difficult to travel yeah. many times in Europe, so we try to be very dense. Uh, and then we have the chance also to do a cadaver course some months later, so that they can yeah. try also something in their yeah. offices, and then they are going deeper. And they come back. In, in, yeah. yeah, I think it's a good idea. Again, intensive course. And this is the best way. I think that the the, the mindset every time, at least is something that I try also for myself, is to remain a student forever. So yes. maintain the curiosity, try to learn from everyone, everybody. I mean, it's, you know, when I came out from the, from the Kuri school, you're like an orthodox. I mean, you know the rules, that is the way and exists just that way. And this, I mean, it's, it's okay when you are coming out from, from a program site like that, but the world is much wider. You must, you must understand that there are different ways to bring the target, to, to get to the target, and you have to, to collect during your, your life as much as possible from the good person. True. I mean, and I th see, that, is, that is an important point. I also point. see, and I'm sure you also experience, like people who, 60 plus years old, and yeah. they come to courses. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that is fantastic. I, I, I love and that. And that is fantastic. 60, 70 plus also. I love that. Yeah. So thank it you is, so much for, for, no, really. for all this information. And um, again, congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Good job. Really. Thank you very thank much. You, really. Thank okay, you. Okay, next time we're going to continue with Dr. Jaime Lozada again, uh, talking to him also about some interesting issues. Thank you again.